20 grand right here. Although we're only doing a 10 grand giveaway. Welcome to today's investor show, episode 10. I think we're actually more than episode 10, but Joe Soto's here. He's got a $3 million business while he raises eight kids. Him and his wife, they've got multiple businesses. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about this new, the next big thing. If you want to quit your job or create a side hustle, how to build an e-com agency. But a lot of you are here because you want to participate in the investor show. All you got to do is pretty simple. Watch the show and we're going to be picking um, ideas that we would invest money in. Yeah. Okay. And today we'll put up an Instagram story poll. We'll pick two, maybe four ideas. We'll put them up for a vote. Anybody can vote. It's not rigged. And the winner today gets $1,000 plus they're entered in the $10,000 giveaway, which I do a couple times a month. Last time, I've That's already awesome. given out the first 10 Gs this month. Plus, I'm going to be giving a lot more today. I end up usually giving a few grand away to just random people. In fact, let's give some money right now. We got people on IG. Uh, let's see. BK Boy say, who fitting to work with me in e-commerce? So let's just start out the investor show. We're, like I said, we're going to be talking on lots of stuff, specifically on how to charge businesses one to 10 grand to manage their e-commerce. Most businesses, besides Amazon, if you go to their website and you want to buy something from them, they don't know how to do it. They're supplements. If you, like I was trying to buy a supplement the other day, like protein powder from this one company. <laughs> no shot. I just no. ended up going to Amazon and buying something else because their website was all jacked up. Yeah. Um, if you can walk in, so Joe helped me build the SMMA program in 2016. He's one of the main uh, teachers in there. And we've trained now, I don't know if you know, like 30, 40,000 so, people. It's crazy. Yeah. I got to look at the numbers in 90 countries with yeah. crazy success stories. So, hang on. I'm having a weird oh. issue with Facebook and uh, YouTube. One second. All right. Well, we'll keep streaming here for Instagram. Um, did YouTube go live at all? It went live, and it just said it's it's you're going live, and then it hasn't pulled itself up yet. Well, if it never went live, just delete Insta. I mean, YouTube, and we'll start over. Okay. Talk to them. I'm going to keep going. Okay. So we're giving out some money right now. The way I enter to win, Okay. Before, and we'll get to talking on an e-com agency because, trust me, this is the next big thing. Yeah, we'll go through it. We talked about how to charge businesses one to ten grand a month to manage their social media. Right. Now, who's the richest man in the world? Jeff Bezos, by far. The man got 120 bill plus. Now, how did he do that? Just e-commerce. And so if you could become an e-commerce expert. Now, one thing, we, I launched an e-commerce course in 2017. For, long, for selling your own products. But here, there's a gap in the market. A lot of people go, oh, I don't know what to sell, Ty. Don't sell anything. Just go to businesses that are already selling stuff, beef jerky, clothing lot, and like say, hey, yeah. I'll be your consultant. I charge one to 10 grand a month. I've got an e-com agency. So that's a little, we'll talk about this more. We'll go into it. We're gonna go into this, but let's pick some. Who's got <laughs> business ideas right now by the way, some people think I do this show to steal ideas. I've been doing this show for several years. I've never taken one of your ideas, okay? The last winners, what were some of the last winners, Adam? Um, some good ones. A dog bar was, that one didn't win, did it? We had an Airbnb home sharing management company, which is something I teach, so obviously I didn't copy that idea. What was another one? What, Tinder, what Tinder for dogs. Tinder for dogs to find like dogs from shelters. That's funny. I ain't gonna steal that idea. By the way, if you think an idea, if you think the secret to business is stealing ideas, yeah. you're stupid. Because I'll give you a classic example: Zuckerberg. Did he steal MySpace from Tom? Tom's a personal friend of mine. I've had, I actually did a live stream with Tom with the whole story of MySpace, which was the biggest website in the world in 20, 2005 and six. Zuckerberg didn't steal the concept because Tom. There was a website before Tom's MySpace, which is Friendster. That's and before right. Friendster, there was, Some you know, ya, there was like it, those old boards that people Alta used to Vista go on. Chat. Yeah, Alta Vista chat yeah, yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So if you Pal don't talk. don't think the secret to business is like stealing ideas. Yeah. But remember this for all of you who don't comprehend this. I'm restarting the, this, by the way. Okay, give me a one, two, three. Okay, tell me when YouTube's up. Okay. YouTube, Facebook, you came in late. 10 Gs I'm giving away. I'm already talking to my Instagram. 
and uh, Joe Soto is here. We're talking about building an e-com agency, and we're giving away money. I'm probably going to give around two grand away today, and one lucky person's entered for the next uh, ten thousand dollar giveaway. Very cool. I gave ten grand away last week. What well, it it actually goes? First prize gets second seven grand. Second prize gets two grand. Third prize gets one grand. So one person not getting ten grand, but ten grand goes out of my bank account. So the audience is voting. The audience is voting. Me and you nominate. We're the judges. So <laughs> we we manipulated a little bit by sure. picking the ideas, but yeah. we don't pick the winner. It's on Instagram right. story poll. We'll pick the two and then we'll pull it. Gaming <laughs> ISP. Higa Machado, my jujitsu professor, is on <laughs> um, from Los Angeles. We're here live in Manhattan. Netflix for games. Maybe could go through PlayStation. Huh. Okay. Digital ator- attorney. Like, well, they have some of those. Like, remember yeah. that one multi-level marketing legal? What was that? Legal thing? Shield. Yeah, and there was another. They had another. They changed, they their, changed name. their name. Yeah. Car wash that comes to you. That was actually one that won money last. We had a, a no, no. We had a mobile oil change company. Ah. They were not. I think they won a thousand bucks. That's I can't true. remember. Yeah. An app that says to you when your car needs something to fix. Yeah, that's called your car. Now cars pop up and say, so that might be, I don't my, know about that. Car tells me. A robot phone. That's what this is. This is a robot phone. You know that an iPhone has more computing power than the first rocket that sent a man to the moon. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. That's what I said. But maybe you, they mean one that will come to you so you don't have to go up and get it. How lazy are we going to become? How obese is society going to go? What do they mean by it? You mean, Ty, i got to go get yeah. my iPhone? You mean I have to walk seven steps? You're supposed to walk four miles a day. A great book um, that's on my Ty Lopez recommended books on my website, free list that you can uh, see some books, is called The Story of the Human Body by Lieberman. He's a professor at Harvard. He studied the human skeletal system. Four said, miles a day. We're meant to walk four miles minimum. Yeah. yeah. So all you that want a robot, I'm, not, I'm giving that a thumbs down. An app that sets up, sets up meditation meetups. Okay. Ah, meetup. That's kind of like meetup, though. There is a website, meetup.com. Right, and they can just put in there they want to have meditations. Yeah. Ty don't care and know the struggle. I do know the struggle, my friend. That's I haven't always been able to give away 10 grand. In fact, I remember when I made my first 10 grand. When did you make your first 10 grand? By the way, those of you coming in late. First, first 10,000 period or first 10,000 a month? A month. First like at one time. Joe Soto here, for those of you coming late, he helped me build the SMMA program. He's one of the main teachers. Um, and he's making about $3 million a year, profitable. That's, that's your gross revenue. And you've got an, is that counting your wife's business too? No. No, she has an e-commerce business. She, she has an e-com business yeah. and a social media marketing. And we're talking, by the way, this is the theme today. E-com agency. How to start it. This is the next big thing. Trust me. I'm going on record right now. I've never said this publicly. So those of you watching right now, 2019, January, whatever it is, 28th or whatever, Ecom agency. I'm gonna be training people. Joe was just here. We shot nine lessons for those of you who get in the test group. How 11. to charge business? Eleven. Eleven. How to charge businesses one to ten grand a month to manage their ecom. We already built in 2016, teaching you how to manage your social media. Next big thing: e-commerce. Jeff Bezos, richest man in the world. Amazon was a trillion dollar company. Sears going bankrupt. Yeah. J.C. Penney gonna be bankrupt. Nordstrom's gonna be. Everybody's gonna be Toys bankrupt. Us. Toys R Us is gone. Yeah, gone. Kodak is gone. Yeah. Like all these yeah. monster. Now Elon Musk, Tesla, I think, is bigger than Ford. So let's get our first. Let's just give somebody a hundred bucks. An app that censors your health statistics when you feel you're feeling sick. Hey, I like that one. R Ginger Zero One. You want to come grab this? Yeah. Oh, here. I'll take a screenshot of it right here. An app. So basically, you put your finger on the app. And it'll tell you, like, oh, you're sick. I'm screenshotting here. If it would prick your finger and do a blood test, that would be next level, though. That would be next level. That's like the iPhone <laughs> yeah. doctor. So I'm going to give you 100 bucks. R Ginger Zero One. Write that down. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Let me have a notepad, too. It's, uh, i got to reset YouTube. It's for some reason not streaming. Facebook is there, but YouTube is not. Have you talked to Josh and all them? A, yeah, he's, he's unable to find it, so. But I'm talking about what the bug is. Did you go? I do not care about Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Mentor board app for authors to upload content. Yeah, we are working on that. Somebody just said, Ty, I need money. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. That's not a, okay. How do you make your creepy? How do you make your first ten grand? <coughs> my, my my first ten grand. Um, I left my I left the company I was working for at the time, and I was a corporate training manager for the company. And I went out on my own, and I realized how hard that was at the yep. beginning. Um, but I sold corporate sales training contracts, and in one month. I think I sold three contracts um, for I think five grand a piece, and one of them was like twenty five hundred, and then like two were like five thousand. But it was the first time I hit. I made three big contracts. And at the back then, I was like, oh my gosh, I made three big contracts. And so sales, basically. I'm in my twenties at the time. And, How'd it uh, feel? Did you grow up rich? Sales. No, <laughs> quite the opposite. In fact, that was almost half of what my father made an entire year on his salary. Yeah. My dad didn't make twenty thousand a year. I don't think I grew up with Working a single at a mom. Grocery store. Yeah. He worked at a grocery store. Yeah, and I lost my mom young at seven. Okay. So my dad was, you know, raising me. Yeah. And uh, I was the last of the of the of the of the kids out of the house. But um, no, we didn't even have a shower growing up. <laughs> so, yeah. Not rich. you yeah, the room that we're in. Is, People now are spoiled. This this little area here is almost the entire size of the home I grew up. in. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's so good. The you're, struggle, the, you're the you're know, the rags. You're the rags. Think that there's no struggle. They don't they don't understand that. Uh, we had years and years of, of making it work. Yeah. Somebody wrote business idea dogs. Okay. That's very. You're a very profound entrepreneur. That's. What's my business? Dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna just start saying that. Like what dogs are? Are you uh, like what? Is it 101 Dalmatians? Who's the bad person in that? Aren't they like a dog catcher? Yeah. Are you a dog catcher? Remember uh, what's the movie with um, any given Friday or whatever? Any given, yeah, any, any given Sunday. Sunday. Is it Al Pacino? Is it Al Pacino? No, 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 no. What's no. the one with um, Debo and all that yeah. with Ice Cube? Friday. Oh. Yeah, isn't that it? It's just called Friday, right? Yeah, there's Friday after next. There's but remember Friday, his dad is a dog catcher? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So memes are twelve fifty nine. I'm going to send you, PayPal you, $1 for that idea. <laughs> for dogs. For dogs. It's too general. Okay. Somebody said... 6.pmm said, I'm richer than both of you, plus y'all scammers. You know what I tell people that think we're a scam because we're on the cutting edge? This is what Albert Einstein said. This is what my answer to, uh, what's this guy's name? What is he watching it for? Well, if he was richer than us, he wouldn't be watching our social media. But forget that. That's what Albert Einstein said. The thing about smart people is they seem crazy to stupid people. Uh-huh. When Jeff Bezos quit his job, Brilliant. actually here in yeah. New York, everybody, he had a job where he was making the equivalent of two, 300000 and he said, I'm going to go start an e-commerce store. Yeah. And people go, oh, that's crazy. Selling books. Yeah. But they went, you're crazy. You're going to yeah. give up this job? Yeah. But who laughs last? That's right. So whenever people laugh at you or they think you're a scammer or you think you're doing something insane, look, the only thing scamming happening uh, in the modern world for most people Probably modern, modern health care, modern justice system, criminal justice system, and modern education system. These are the three big scam right. pharmaceutical companies. Oh, yeah. You talk about scams, they're pushing. What about Coca-Cola? They're, they're, they're giving six-year-olds Coca-Cola Cereal in companies. public school, so they're like hyper. The yeah, what about Kellogg's? They're hyper, and then they give them Ritalin. Don't be talking to me about scams, bro. you already been scammed. All right. High school made me give up on my dreams. Solar-powered phone charger. I hear that a lot. Um, the solar-powered phone charger? Shirt designing app that allows you to choose the textile mm. material, the features of the shirt. There are some. That's a good one. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give this person 100 bucks. 612 Hamza. I'm screenshotting you. Shirt designing app that allows you to text to choose the textile. I don't know if that, I mean, I don't know if some. I'd invest that because... Most people are lazy. They just want to buy a shirt. Not that many people go, you know what I want to do today? I want to design my T-shirt. They just want to put one on, man. People are lazy, unfortunately. All right, we got 1,900 people on Instagram watching live. Who's getting this money? Shazam for clothes. <laughs> you know what Shazam is? Is it app for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. music? Yeah. So you just go up to people and you be po- you point your phone. That's yeah, actually a good that's idea. Cool. All right, I'm gonna give that so 100 bucks. So it's got a bucks. recognition feature that. So you can see, it with yeah, if you like somebody's out. Like, like if that. I like your yeah. black shirt, yeah. I just go yeah. boom, and it right. tells me the brand, they think you're and it has a link picture. to buy it. Okay. Yeah. 
Nick Hill Create. underscore Maha. I might put you in the final right. for the thousand bucks. People be doing that for shoes for sure. App that helps people pick construction workers around their area to fix whatever repair they have. Okay. An app for updating upcoming appointments for patients regarding diet and information. Yep. Oh, that app seems too boring for anybody to download. You got to have a little sexiness in your business, people. Remember that. And every one of you have ideas. Let's hear them. Yeah, give a, give a little sexy, not sexual. That's not. What, I'm just like sexy, you know. Like iPhone is. This is like. Look, it's a, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's why there there's been several billion of these sold. You know that. Yeah. It's now several billion. It's Billions. Insane. There's only seven billion people on the planet. Yeah. An app that tells you safe areas in new countries. Un oh. Ashley, yeah. Lola underscore. That's actually pretty. That's good. not a bad idea. All right, Ashley, I'm gonna send you a hundred bucks. It's a travel hack app. A travel. So like, she's a woman. So she's. Am I allowed to say people are women now? <laughs> she appears to be a woman. I think so. Ashley, Lola. I never know what is politically correct anymore. I try to, whenever I, I just got back from my farm. I like to be around animals. Yeah, I don't have to deal with political Sam, correctness. Sam, a little bit not so loud. Animals okay. don't talk back either. So she wants to be able to like go on a trip. My kids. She goes uh, to Turkey. She yeah. goes to London. She goes to Melbourne, Australia. And so you turn your location on and then may, you maybe. You know if there was, when the last crime was maybe committed in that location or something. <laughs> someone was murdered right here. You yeah, can go yeah. stand there. You know, I own a piece of real estate where someone was died in the home, but they weren't murdered. They weren't murdered. They died of a drug overdose. But I'm not creeped out. Should I be creeped out by that? Not unless you see their ghost at night. <laughs> so, I don't believe I don't in ghosts. So. You believe in ghosts? I don't really believe in ghosts, but I think my wife does. <laughs> my ex-girlfriend, she wouldn't go in my basement because she was afraid. She told me she was a very smart person, 100% sure there was a ghost down there. Never went for several years. Wow, would never go down. Nope. She's like, there's a ghost. It wasn't like freaked out there's a ghost. She's like, there's a ghost. Jake, you're tired, says he believes in ghosts. Apps that scans foreign languages anywhere you go and translate it for you. That doesn't exist. Huh. An app that makes quick blueprints on the spot. Ooh, bamboo reusable toothbrush. Mm. The um, Airbnb for hall rentals, conferences, events, parties. You wouldn't want a reusable one because there's no money in that. Hey, that's a good consumable. idea. What's that? An Airbnb to rent like a rental room for conferences, events, or parties. I actually like oh, that yeah, one. That's good. You could sell that business to Airbnb. All you right. You could rent out a piece of your garage, or your uh, not garage, your uh, your barn. There you go. It's like a retreat. Beating 100 Airbnb. bucks goes to yeah. MA.77 lowercase like zero or lowercase O. A business that helps you hold your undelivered packages for you then delivers them when you're ready. That's called. That's UPS. Yeah, that's called FedEx. Answer. You just don't. Or even your mail care. They'll hold your mail. But I know what you're saying. They, they, the UPS does do that at their store. An app with locations anywhere you are. That's called an iPhone GPS. That definitely exists. You can yeah. pretty much GPS works even exactly. when you don't have signal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired of copy and paste, so create an app that lets me take a picture of a book and then turn it into writing. That is actually a good idea, and there used to be some scanners. I used to scan books with this pen thing, yeah. and it would turn it into notes. I like that one. Okay, that's the Joseph Seca. Joseph Seca, S-E-K-A. Here's the cool thing. If you see right here in this, so many people have the potential to at least come up with a good idea. There's been at least five solid business ideas here, if not more. I didn't see them all. And school systems holding people back. Hey, Sam, are we remotely? We're, we're back on Facebook, but the same air with YouTube. I'm trying to troubleshoot huh. Josh. I can put it right to a phone. Just let's you just do YouTube. You just do YouTube on a phone, man. Yeah. Who okay. cares? We don't. We have a very fancy setup here that we don't need, of course. <laughs> we have two thousand people watching us. Apple glitch today. More business ideas. Let's hear them. Concussion sticker to report concussions to the coach and keep the player down. Like in a football game, they hit their head. They get a sticker. <laughs> yeah. Show your face, uh, hey buddy. You got uh, a concussion. I've... Can I go to the hospital? No, but you can get a sticker. <laughs> get a sticker. We're trying to save money at this school. Welcome to your concussion today. 
Okay, can't give that one. Another one's the sticker. Another marked. Oh man. Yeah, I'd rather have a, a stretcher. Maybe you meant a stretcher for concussion. That's funny. <laughs> I played football. That's funny. An app like Pandora for podcasts and different genres and influencers. So they kind of have that app. They have the podcast app. Apple's, you know, built-in one, iTunes podcast. Then you also have... But can you make, like, your a playlist out of different episodes? Spotify's now getting in that game. I have a Spotify podcast. They are. Yep. But I think what they're saying is that I could take, like, an episode from... You know, one of your podcasts and maybe another oh, okay. and, and mix them together. To make, make a playlist. You might be able to. I don't know if spot. I don't see why Spotify wouldn't let you. But for sure, there's there's a yeah. big Swedish company that got funded for I can't ten twenty million dollars, which was an, a way to improve uh, ads. You know, if you need to, you could. Do you have that phone? Have you? Yeah, okay. Let's get in the plug for it. Okay. Somebody said, but you can't stream using Chromecast. Was that sometimes people write like not a full thought? Yeah, or they're commenting on, on an issue we're having over here. Somebody of, wrote dogs. Instead of trying That's to get the money, get an idea. Okay, here's That's, one: an app that lets you know your life path and career path based on question. Ah. Beauty's beauty is in the eyes. So sort of like your mobile, the eye your mobile personality test that align you with your careers. I have that. Tylopez.com/quiz. It's a free quiz. I've had. You know how many people took my quiz last year? I took year? it. I think I passed. I made my son take four or five hundred thousand people took it last year. Wow. I never even advertised how many? it. I spent like a hundred or two hundred bucks advertising. Wait, how many did you have take it? I think four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. Holy cow! That's. I built a quiz. It's so I worked with Dr. David Buss, who's one of the most famous scientists in the world, Harvard guy. Now he's at University of Austin, but we built one. It's based on like five of the most scientific tests. Tylopez.com. I read the H Factor. You recommended that. That's a good one, man. A place that gives ho- veteran homes food and clothes. A place that gives veteran homes food and clothes. Yeah, but what's the business idea? You could put nonprofit ideas here where you're saying, like, a, you know, it would be a good idea. You could have an app for Goodwill. You take a picture of something in your house, and then different nonprofits could contact you and say, I'll pick that up. There you go. There's a free business for you. Yeah. Nonprofit business. Because what happens is a lot of people got stuff sitting around and you don't know what to do with it and you don't have time to bring it to Goodwill. And Goodwill's not going to come pick it up if it's like one sock, right? But if it's like a piece of furniture that's worth 300 bucks, they might take it and sell it and give the money to poor, homeless, or veterans. I like that idea, but... Or you can sell it on eBay. An app for portable gas. People bring gas to you. Ah. Like natural gas? Like Uber Eats. Uh, I think I'm guys, gas. I need some gas. I need some gas. I'm stuck <laughs> on 56 in a second. Uh, oh, he's talking about like gasoline for your car. I was thinking natural gas because up here in oh. New York, they got natural gas. The, you know the problem with all these gas businesses? The Liability, companies? baby. No, gasoline yeah, for your car. Oh, yeah. You imagine someone, you dr- that's why when you run out of gas on the side of the road, they do not come with a gas truck. They send you a little plastic thing. Right. Because gas station, imagine if a big gas truck pulls over on the side of the road, comes around, and someone smacks that oh, thing. Yeah. You know how many bad drivers yeah, there are in the close. world? An app like Tinder, but for shareholders. Hmm. So shareholders can date each other? They can, they can just say, hey, I don't like the look of her, so swipe. I don't like the look of him, and swipe right. You can't pick shareholders by <laughs> I looks. I am not, so. yeah. <laughs> you got to elaborate on this. An app for agriculture, weather, and the pesticides and fer- fertilizers. Share ride app, but they pick you up in classic cars, movies, cars wearing costumes. Like an entertainment. This guy's like an entertainment Uber. His Instagram is Satan is my dude. Is Satan your dude? You may want to change your username. Um, a site that makes R-rated or PG-13 movies into PG for strict parents. Hey, that's a good idea. I don't know how you turn that into. There are companies that do. That. I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks. We've already given away. A, how much have we given away so far? Imagine some major editing. 700. 700. J-E-A-M. J-E-M-47. What? Hey, where is the YouTube phone, Adam? Just go grab it and bring it to me. What? Is, I don't know what Sam's doing. I just want it. Let me have it in my hand. <laughs> I'm just going to go live. I don't need any help. An app that reminds you of bills to be paid and warns you if your funds are low in your account. Mint kind of does that. In a second, we're going to talk this e-com agency. We're just, yeah. YouTube is whack today. 
A mouth guard that detects vitals. Mm. So, like, you're doing jujitsu, you're boxing, you wear this, you get punched in the head by... It'll assess it for you. By... What's his name? And then give you a sticker. Anthony Joshua punches you in the head, and it's like, yeah, stay down, baby. Okay. An app that allows you to sell things that you own and buy or sell or buy stuff in your location. Would that be like eBay? That's eBay. Yeah. That's Craigslist. That sounds like Craigslist to me. <laughs> or eBay. Okay, keep the ideas coming. That's where it comes from is this brainstorming. An app that allows you to meet people in different countries. You can click on a country and you can talk to random people from different countries. Okay. Hmm. So not like a mail order bride business, but uh Yeah, I don't just, know if you talking about dating? Just talking about Come on guys, like I'm trying tender, to give away like money here. I need tender. something I need some better ideas. An app that connects your own family together. That doesn't exist. You have eight kids. We actually have nine, but yeah. Nine kids. Yeah. Seven yeah. under the age of 14 in the home. But Do you need all, an app to bring all your when, kids together? Well, I, possibly when they're all out of the house. <laughs> there you go. You know, I don't know. That's what Facebook, you know, a lot of reason done? people use Facebook is for family stuff. Let me yeah. just have this phone. I'm going to do it myself. Okay. That's just true. Just put in you the know, title Facebook, think and about give it to Facebook me. Think about what Facebook does. We, you post, you know, your grandparents are on Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook nowadays, so it does bring it. People together. A debit card that will convert automatically your yes, money into too. currency. Okay. Do you have... Wait, it doesn't have a title. Yeah, it's in there. It's uh, on the top. Okay. We're going live on YouTube. And then you getting another tripod for this? Yeah, I'm going to put it on this one right here, actually. Okay. Here, you press the button, Joe. You press this button. I'm going to hold this up. Right here. Ready? Yeah. It's an error creating oh, lot. What Dude, what's up with YouTube today? I don't know. Josh is saying that's the error. So it's, it is. It's, oh, there, there we go. go. No, no error. Error. What's going on what's with YouTube? Up? YouTube. Wow. Did you get that when you nice. tested earlier? No. Well, you can upload the recording. Who knows the reason? I've had that happen before. There's a reason. There's somebody who gives a reason. Something with YouTube and our embedding. At least with the program. Yeah, but so why would it be that program. way on the app? I'm going to take, maybe it's the title. Let me try this one more time. Mm -hmm. Who, all right, maybe I'm going to give 100 bucks to whoever has the answer why we can't go live on YouTube. <laughs> Here it is. Have you reset this phone? Maybe try that. Um, all right, we're just going to be YouTube list, I guess. An app for local farmers that delivers fresh fruit and vegetables. Yes, I do like that idea. I'm work, I have a business like that. Miss Castaneda, hundred bucks. So what are we at now? Seven hundred dollars we've given away. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Alkaline water delivery. Oh. Uh, somebody said, turn it on and turn it back off. An app to stream on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, we're turning it. Someone says YouTube server is down at the moment. It's possible. It's unable to live stream once I open the app. Yeah. It's Did you restart it? Yeah, I restarted. Okay. Maybe restart the phone. Or did you just turn that phone just on? I just turned it on, yeah. Yeah, I think YouTube's just done. It's having issues. Somebody's mad at us. Hemp water bottles. Okay, let's talk real quick while we're doing this. Ecom agency. How to charge businesses one to ten grand. Let, I'm gonna let's draw out the simplest. This is the newest thing. In twenty nineteen I've introduced two new ideas that we're talking about business ideas. I promise you these business ideas will work. Why? Because me and my business partners are doing them. A few weeks ago, we launched how to use Airbnb to start into real estate and make one to ten grand a month without owning any real estate. So all of you freaked out because you don't have good credit or a lot of money, you could be making one to ten grand a month, renting out a room in your house or a friend's house. You can rent out a lot. You can rent out a tree house. We built a whole system and we launched the test group. People got in it. Thousands of people got in it last week. Now people go, oh, Todd, I don't want to do Airbnb. What else you got for me? I got the best business idea that I know of right now in 2019 for those of you who want to make more money or quit your job or do it part-time. Joe Soto flew up here from his place. Here's what you do. Simplest thing. You identify businesses online, and we have a system how to do that. It's not that hard. You're looking for people selling physical products. They're selling nutrition bars. They're selling pens. They're selling... Gadgets. Water, gadgets, they're selling clothing. There's a billion websites. 
a billion web pages. I think now there's like five billion web pages. That was a few year, years ago. Billions of web pages. Mm -hmm. We have a system. You send them an email or you call them, or you can go in in person. But you don't have. To, if you live in India, you live in, you know, middle of Missouri. You can contact a business anywhere in the world. Right. We show you there's a way you do an evaluation. Not restricted at all to local. No, but you you basically say I went on your website. You say this in a nice way. I went on your website and your website kind of sucks. I'm a specialist. I have an e-com agency. I help businesses sell their products online. I get you on your own Shopify store that I set up and manage for you. I get you on Amazon because no one in business basically is very good at getting on Amazon. Remember, most business owners are 55 years old. Just think of your 55 or 60 year old grandparent. You think they're going to be like, hey, let me get my Amazon store up. No. So it's complex. You become an expert in it and you have a contract. It's a thousand bucks a month. I manage your social media. I manage your inventory. I build your um, Shopify store for you. We'll train you over the next one to four months. I'm going to put a link right below. Those of you ready to just get in, and I'm going to be watching this. I'm going to keep their name because these are big things. When, we la when I launched SMMA in 2016... 40,000 people ago. Yeah. <laughs> the first person to get in in the first day, well, the first day, Jaden Gross got in, yeah. became a millionaire at 21, 22. And I'm not promising you can become a millionaire. I'm just telling you a true story. I think last year he made $6 million. I think he was working at Burger King at the time or something. Or yeah. Year, he, was a, or he had never opened a bank that. account. He made $28,000, I know, because he needed my help how to open up a Bank of America bank account to deposit a check. Oh my God. He got a doctor's office to pay him one year up front to manage your social media. So that was the social media, how to get paid to manage social media. There's another opportunity because of Amazon. Manage their freaking e-com. So I'm going to put a link below. Or what is the link they can go to? Is it in Instagram? Can you pin the comment in Instagram? Or what's the name? Do you know what the link is? We'll, we'll write it up here. So I'm going to write it up here. I want to see who's the first person to get into the e-com. It's called, I call it simplest thing ever. E-com agency. I bought, I bought e-com agency.com, by the way. I just bought it. So who's going to be the first person in the test group? We just launched today. Ta-da. Come on. Rip that. So just go here. By the way, people go, Ty, what is it? Just e-com? E-com agency live. E-com, short for e-commerce, agency. Two M's. Yep, live, because you're on this live call. Go right there, or the, if you're on Facebook or whatever, there's a link. And here's the cool thing. We were talking about the price, what we should charge for this. I got the math for you. There's a college in LA called Azusa Pacific, and I'm not picking on them. There's thousands of colleges like this across the US and around the world. It's $42,000 a year yeah. for an undergrad degree. Yeah. There's That's with the cafeteria plan and lift. It. Okay. So you're going to go in, you get to get a degree in English. You know, I met somebody and they're getting a degree in English, not at that school, but another school and they're paying like $30,000 a year. And I go, you already speak English. <laughs> what kind of con is this? Hey, yo, you speak English? Yeah. I'm going to charge you 30 grand a year I'm, to I'm teach you better English. English. Oh, Lord. Help yeah. us. People say, Ty, is this, is this program a scam? Um, once again, people are paying $100,000 a year who are native English speakers yeah. to learn English. Now, people say, oh, but Ty, you know, they're, they're going to become professional writers or teachers. Okay, so you, you spent hundred grand to get a $20,000 a year job. Yeah, that's going to take you 30 years to pay off. I saw a billboard. People paying 100 Gs for a 40 grand a year job. And a 40 grand a year job yeah. after taxes is about 25000 Yeah, I mean, That sounds even, like a great investment. Even undergraduate degrees from Stanford or you know, any of the Ivy League schools is not over $75,000 out of the school. The average is not over $75,000. No. It's, Quite a bit lower than that. I think it's like around fifty to sixty thousand if you do your research. It's really sad. It is sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ultimate con. You know how they say you can't sell ice to a es or snow to an Eskimo, yeah. but you can sell an English class to an English speaker. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. My, now, one of my brothers spent about that much to learn to get a Spanish degree. He still can't speak Spanish. And I said, why didn't you go live in Spain? That's what he should have done. Yes. Live in Spain. Yeah. 
get a job so you get getting how about getting paid a hundred grand yeah to learn spanish right while you're there versus coming out with a hundred he had eighty thousand dollars in debt and i'm going oh my god any majored in spanish yeah. Oh hey, gosh. they say build a wall. All yeah. you want to learn Spanish. Since there's no wall, you can just go into Mexico. Yeah, there's no wall that keeps you out of Mexico. <laughs> and then you can spend a few months there. And I guarantee you, you'll speak better Spanish yeah. than all the people getting their undergrad in Spanish. Have you ever met someone who got an undergrad in Spanish? They are like, Biblioteca. <laughs> Yo no. puedo hablar español. They don't even speak right. Come on, man. You got to learn slang. You ever met? Say, have right. you ever met somebody that like speaks too formally? They come from another country, like China or something. And they're like, "Hello, how are you today?" <laughs> yeah. Bye. Yeah. I'm like, that's not how we speak in this country. We speak slang. Like, hey, what's up? Like, so when all you guys paying two, you all you guys pay, paying your twenty grand a year to get your English degree or Spanish, you don't need to know what a gerund is. <laughs> you don't. You don't need to know that what an article is. You think Mark Twain, one of the greatest speakers of all time, greatest writers, did the man get a, a degree for forty grand a year? He 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 spent his He's time his meandering grade. through planet Earth. That's how he got yeah. his degree. Try this again on YouTube. You think it's working? I, just, I, I took it off the, the network to see if I could. All right, we're going one last time. Let's do it. We're giving more money away. You want to hold this up? Hey, we're going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's going to work. Let's see. They can win money on YouTube as well. YouTube. YouTube Okay, is live. let's see. No, but it doesn't. The button doesn't work. What? Okay, yeah, here we is. go. Ah, we'll give them more money. YouTube, you hey. actually worked. I'm in shock. In. We've been trying to we go live. money on YouTube. We've been trying to go live on YouTube. Oops, I we muted gave, it. We gave money away on all the other platforms. We already gave about a thousand bucks away. We're going to give more money. We're talking about the ultimate scam, how people spend 20 grand a year as native English speakers to learn English, get an undergrad in English. People say, I'm a good salesman. I ain't that good of a salesman. Oh. Hey, Joe, they got those, here's the deal. Those. Four years of your life, the prime of your life, okay? What, what country are you from? <laughs> I'm from here. What, what's your native language? English. English. Yeah. You know what? Go I got a this. plan for you. <laughs> if you give me 40 grand and four years of the prime That's of funny. your life, That's funny. I'm going to teach you English. But, but, but I mean, Ty, I already know English. No, 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 no. You I'll don't understand. I'll take alone with interest. Yeah, with to interest. Do it. To do it. But you don't understand, Joe. I'm going to teach you things like, you know T-H-E? You know that? <laughs> you know the, let, the letters T-H-E? Oh, yeah. That's not enough. You can't just know how to use the in a sentence. You need to know that that's what's yeah. called an article. <laughs> that's a gerund. That's a hanging participle. Duh. Come on, people. You're spending 100 grand on your college degree to get a 40 grand job. And you could have went red, shrunk, and white. <laughs> okay, who wants to hold this pages. so I don't lose my arm? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get it back up for you. Okay. So, how many of you Somebody ever said, here. Tuco Martin said, please do not buy his course. Tuco, I'm glad you don't want to buy this. You know why? Because the thing about smart people's ideas is they seem crazy to stupid people. <laughs> Tuco ain't smart enough to understand that e -com is a real thing. Yeah. So it's, it's a real thing. How, how, how many of you watching this have, and we were talking about this earlier, how many people have, have you, how many of you have walked into a store or you've purchased a product inside of a real business and you thought, you know, I'd like to get this again sometime, so what's their online store? And you noticed, you know, when you looked at their, their card, they don't have an online store. They might have a website, it's a brochure website, or you ask the owner, do you guys sell this online? And they say, no, we don't, we don't sell these products online, you can only buy them in their store. Has, yeah. that, has that ever happened? And you walk For out sure. and you're like, what are they thinking? Like, how is this product not online? There's a lot of those that exist as well. Yeah, and so there's, there's ones, of, how about ones you go to their website and it's horrible? Yeah, you go to their e-commerce store and it's just a terrible experience. They don't have an SSL. And that's, why they go to, that's why you run it. That's to, why everyone uh, goes to Amazon. That's why you go to Amazon. That's why Bezos is the and richest a lot of man in the world. Where, you know, one of the ways that this is different is that we teach how to identify the opportunities that exist for e-commerce businesses. And then we'll show you how to pinpoint the ones that could be ideal also for, for example, subscription box businesses. Yep. And you just launched... A physical product, yep. subscription two box business. Food. Well, We're actually them, launching yep. a beef jerky one. We oh. just about launching that one. Right. So yeah. yeah. Those are huge businesses. We did the oh, same here's thing the first for people. Damn it. 
All right, we got people coming in, and I didn't even... Hold on, give me a second. Who's first? What's today? The 29th. All right. Who's the first one that got in my e-com agency? All right. Oh, wait. Da-da-da. Let me go scroll back. So I had a, a different e-com course. That's how to sell your own products. This one is how to not have your own products, but help businesses sell theirs. Can you pull that put up? Okay, who is the very first person I see here? Because I'm going to mark you down. Here we go. I think it's this person right here. I'm going to check back. I got. A little, I built my own app. Now I see all my own sales. I don't rely on any third-party stuff anymore. Sweet. Okay, I think the person's name is... Oh, no, I think it's a woman. Yep. All right. We got female entrepreneurs representing. The first person to get in. Oh, no, that's a that's my old e-commerce program. Sorry, wrong one. Here we go. It's Servando Reynosa from Chicago, Illinois. Dude, that's... Chicago. Jaden is the first person to get my SMMA. From Chicago. From Chicago. Boom. Servando Reynosa. Chicago. Scorpio. You got your birthday right there. Congratulations, man. Thank you, uh, Servando. You're the first person in. And we've had a lot of people actually come in in the last. Let's read off some more people real quick. Chris Faulkner, Philip Valley, Rain Hiva in Finland. I've been to Finland. Most blonde people in the world. In Finland? Finland, more than Sweden. I've never been. Girls there, and you see their hair. You know how in America, like, girls have blonde hair but the roots are coming out brunette because the, the dye isn't working. In, in Finland, they dye, dye their hair black, and the blonde is coming at the roots. And I go, well, why do you dye your hair black? They go, blonde is so boring. I go, I'm from California. Everybody wants what they don't have, That's, yeah, is I guess what I'm trying want, to say. They want, they want, thin hair, they want thick hair. They have thick hair, they want thin Jake Hurst, Sean Smith, welcome to the test group. David Garza, Mauricio Vargas, Golda... Meteoro, that is quite a name. Golda Meteoro. Oh, Kashif Khalid in Pakistan. You know what's going to make this world go to be peace on earth? Did you know that countries that do business with each other, they used to call this the McDonald's rule, don't go to war with each other. Because you don't attack somebody who you're doing business with in general. Yeah. Right? So one of the ways that you eliminate war, and it's not a fail-proof 100%. There's exceptions to this rule. But in general, the more people interact with each other, the less war there is. You know, so I'm glad to have people in every country. We got Ashley Williams got in the group. Nicholas Carbonell, Edroy Fernandez, Milika Krishtik in Thessalonica, Greek, Greece. Wow, Greece. That's where the book of Thessalonians in the Bible comes from. We got some biblical people getting in here. David Williams. Corn oh no, that's yeah, David. Well, all right, so we're we're there. So, what are some of the differences? Would you say because there's probably some people asking between this SMA program and the ecom agency program? Yep. Should we talk about that? Yes. Yeah, so the ecom program that I launched in 2017, you know, the first student who got in that, or in the first week or so that I launched that, he was a guy. I think he was from the bad part of Detroit. I showed him how to build his own products. So he, he drop shipped women's clothing. Okay. Okay. He would buy it in China and he would sell it in the US and he's doing right to this day, he's doing about a million a month and he's netting about a hundred he's got about ten percent profit margin. So he's netting a hundred thousand dollars a month. Wow. He came to my house. I did a video with him. Yeah. But yeah. that's he had his own product. For a lot of you, feel over, you get overwhelmed, I've noticed. People go, yeah. oh, Ty, I don't know what to sell. I don't know how to do drop shipping. I got the perfect thing for you. No, There's source. hundreds of thousands of businesses who already have a product. Mm -hmm. Go s help them sell their product and just get a monthly retainer. Yeah. You have how many customers in your agency? Uh, just over 50. 50. Yeah. And how much does that roughly gross you a month? Um, Anywhere it can, it can it can fluctuate, but it depends on the products we're working on. But it can be you know upwards to over two hundred thousand a month. Yeah, you did about three million last year, yeah. right? Yeah. On the agency side, he's got an e-com business too. And one of the things that changed for us was why we started to identify opportunities with this course is that we started to uh, see the gaps like this in the market 
and then see where we could actually sell e-commerce funnels into the marketplace to help yep. these e-commerce businesses kind of springboard, if you will. Yeah. And they're terrible at it, but you could charge more for that. So when people come to me and they say, Joe, because we didn't change how many customers, we changed how what we're selling to the customers in our fee structures. Yep. So it's it's do we sell a fifteen hundred dollar program or do we want to sell a ten thousand dollar program with maybe a twenty five hundred to five thousand dollar monthly management fee? Yep. You can do that when you change your business model accordingly. In this case, there's a huge niche gap in the marketplace yep. for somebody just to have an e com agency program and uh, or uh, a, a, I'm sorry, business, e com agency business and Quite honestly, there's, there's, it's rampant how many businesses are trying to sell online, e-commerce yeah. stores. They're not doing it well. They're getting killed by Amazon. Amazon. You, got, you, can show Amazon. To, you got to show them how to get on Amazon. That's a big yeah. thing we're going to train you. And I've got, so Joe's one of the teachers. I'm teaching in a new program. And uh, I've got a few people that are going to be teaching. One of them, um, her name's Liz. She's taught before. She actually dropped, she had a college degree for Ba I mean, a college scholarship for basketball. I think University of Arizona. Oh, wow. Now she makes five hundred grand a month selling on Amazon. She does yeah. a lot of household, just like kitchen stuff. Let's give away some more money. Okay, someone said because of time, earning twenty thousand dollars a month. Thanks, Mr. Lopez. Fire spec or I or spec. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sometimes people randomly say I've helped them, and a lot of people. Some people lie. Some people tell the truth. <laughs> uh, all right, let's start YouTube. You got. You guys got late to the game. Let's give away some more money for business ideas. How many business ideas have we picked so far? Nine? How much have I given away? You should number them, Adam. Nine. Nine. Just number them as you do them. Nine business ideas. 900 bucks I've given away on this show. One lucky person who wins this, the, the Instagram poll is going to get a thousand bucks today and then a chance at 10,000. So. Waheb said, Ty just got in your SMMA. Drone delivery company. Sounds like Amazon. Pearl Kisses said, read mine, please. But he didn't put a business idea. Yeah, when you do that... My man, re you took all that time... Recut and paste it. To, ...to put your business idea to get attention, but you forgot to put your idea. Can you lift that up a little bit, Adam? Put it up on something, like on this. It's too low. Hot coffee delivery. Widhi Henrique. I like that idea. And you know what? You probably stole that from me, because that's my idea, but I'm going to give that to you. The hot coffee. I'm gonna money. give you. I'm gonna Which take one? a picture of it, Adam. It? It's on YouTube. It's okay. it's Widhi. So I'm I'm doing screenshots of stuff. Wind Widhi Henrique, hot coffee delivery, hundred bucks. That's a thousand we've given away. All right, we got twenty three hundred people on Instagram right now. Ty, can you show the link? Yeah, tylopezcom agency live. If you just go to tylopezcom right now. Remember, I have two e-com programs. One is how to sell your own products. Now, my new and improved one, the old one still works, but the new one is how to help businesses sell their physical products and get paid yeah. to teach them, basically, and manage it. I mean, we, sh we, we I, I spent today going through exactly how to identify those businesses and how to approach them. Beef Jerky Company was a good one. We, I think it is a good one. Beef jer You find a company... Yeah. That has beef jerky for sale. This is a real life example, but they don't know how to sell it online. There's a company in LA that I know a friend works there. They sell bikinis, but they only have a store. And I'm going, they make like awesome bikinis, custom made, all this. Yeah. And I go, but they only have a physical store. Yeah, they, they forgot to put it. They don't have them. They're not on Amazon. Yeah, they're not. They're on Shopify. If I was you, if I was 18 years old again or 25, doesn't matter how old you are. I'd walk into that business there in Riverside. I'm not going to say their name because I don't want to embarrass them. One eye, one eye line. You, you got to get it over here. Just make sure it doesn't block that, that one. Um, I would just walk into that store and be like, yo, man, we'll teach you how to evaluate their store. So you hand them a little folder that, or you email it to them and, said, and say, listen, I evaluated your site. Here's the seven things wrong with it. Here's what you should be doing, how you should be on Amazon, how you should build your funnels out, yeah. how you should collect credit card payments. I charge one to $10,000 a month to do it for you. Here's a free evaluation. Do it yourself, or if you want me to do it, here's my card, or here's my number. Okay? Okay, let's see. Thank you, Ty. I moved out to a villa mansion because of you, and I'm on track to make over 500 grand net profit. I even filmed my garage. Oh, man, YouTube's starting to pour in. Yeah, you just got a bunch of people to jump on. How many are we on on YouTube? 1,300. Now, 1,300 on YouTube, 20, 
2,000 or 2,400 was a second ago on Insta. We got a lot of people. Facebook is kind of lame, and Twitter doesn't have many. Most of my people watch on IG or YouTube. Facebook's slowly dying a little bit, but <laughs> not completely, but... Okay, who wants to give a business idea that you think... Remember, it doesn't have to be a unique idea. A digital bracelet that will tell you your financial health and when auto drafts are coming. Mm. Why has it got to be a digital bracelet? I don't see myself wearing that. What does it do? Shock you? Yeah, maybe, if you a, maybe it's an app for the iWatch that could tell you when those auto, those auto drafts are there coming. There you go. Yeah, that idea needs to be tweaked a little bit. Uber for basic auto maintenance. That one we've already done. Pet tracking app. I think that exists, but I do like that idea. So, okay. Conry, I'm going to give you 100 bucks. The key to that would be to know how to market it. Pet tracking app. C-O-N-N-R-E on YouTube. So that maybe it was connected to a collar. Yeah, you a got your collar. collar. They already have that, but uh, virtual pawn shop. Mm. That's kind of like eBay, though. Yeah, that is eBay. I mean, eBay and Craigslist is kind of a... I like, I like where you're going. You can work on that. That's, that's not horrible. Wow. A type... Ooh. How can you read these this fast? Yeah, you gotta pause it. Does SMMA still work? Does a social? This man made three million bucks last year with his SMMA. Here's the thing with the agencies: we got thousands of people that have successful agencies. Yep. If if you've got a, if you get an agency, this is this this would I, you know maybe if, here's a better question: agencies work because every business still needs social media marketing. They yep. need advertising. They need social media. The better question would be: would this be something that could complement the SMMA program? Yes. And if you're in yes. all you people in SMMA, you better, you, I mean, if you have any common sense, yeah. do the e-com agency because you're going to learn. So SMMA allows you to go into businesses that do services, doctor's office, dentist, landscapers, right? Yeah. E-com agency is specifically another target, huge gap in the market for companies that sell physical products. They sell right. snack bars. They have their own, you know, they sell their own socks, they sell, they, and the best ones are the ones that have stores. I'll give a great, physical great, I'll stores. Give a great example. We had a client uh, that was a pet store, and they were an all-natural pet store. Mm -hmm. And they had two locations, and between the two of them, they did about $2.5 million a year. In yep. And we were doing uh, local Facebook advertising for them. And I remember the, having an initial conversation with the owner where he said, one of my goals is to take our hottest natural-selling dog products, okay. like the dog foods that they have that were natural, he said, and build an online store and start selling some stuff on e-commerce because I'm restricted to this local area. Yes. And I remember thinking, you know, that's that's a that's a huge gap because we don't yeah. offer that at the time. This was almost two years ago. Yep. And I remember thinking, you know, yeah, that's a good idea. You're a retail and store you can do it restricted, as a box. And, and now you can do it as a box, as a subscription box. box, because consumables work really well for the subscription boxes, yep. right? Of course. I mean, Look at Dollar Shave Club sold for one point three billion dollars. Yeah. A local actor in Los Angeles mm -hmm. sold it. Yeah. Uh, I started it, I think, in twenty thirteen, and he sold it in like twenty sixteen or seventeen for one point three billion. I would guess he owned fifteen percent of it. He made one hundred fifty million bucks from an idea of shipping you a box, a physical box yeah. with a physical razors in it. Yeah. 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 He built it off YouTube ads, which is social media marketing. That's the future right there. That is a perfect. Yeah. Fashion Nova is another example of a company that took, they have a few stores, they went online. That guy's been in business since like 2007 or 8 and in the LA. opened up. Now it's a billion dollar company yeah. plus. Yeah, it's over. Shoes that are temperature controlled by an app with GPS. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty Sam good. Sam thought that was funny. Uh, here's my problem with that. That sounds do. I don't know if I want my shoes. First of all, the only thing that really happens with shoes. I mean, I guess your feet get too hot, but you can have an air conditioner in my shoes. You can have some free on. <laughs> little, little, you can have a little, you know, well, you got and, a little air conditioner. Uh, if, and if it's cold out, you're going to get the insulated boots and things like that. So, yeah, because I'm not that excited about heat. Like, uh, you're not going to have gas heat, right, in my shoes. You're not going to. You could have some form of electric. What about gloves? Yeah, just heat it up. What about where hands get cold? They anymore. have those. They have those. They do. I mean, they have some of that stuff if you live in the Arctic Circle. I don't know. That might work. That's not. I wouldn't invest in that. But look, this is a little bit like Shark Tank. We're not the same as Shark Tank, but just because I wouldn't invest in you doesn't mean it's not a good idea. I'm not omnipotent. And there's a lot of Shark Tank 
contestants that went on to build multi-million dollar brands that yeah. got rejected. I never tell people don't do it. Right. Go. I'm just saying, I only have so much time and I only got so much money, I'm not going to invest in every idea and the shoe heater, I don't know. <laughs> For shoe, some reason, I just don't heater. feel it. It's a good it. name though, shoeheater.com. Shoeheater.com. Wingman at Vato Clark on Facebook says, so you're going to a bar, you're oh. married with eight kids, but like back when you were single, you're going to a bar. Yeah. And you're like, man, I'm too timid I mean, to talk wingman. to this girl. Wait, is it a wingman identifier? Like you find another single guy in the bar to be your wingman? <laughs> I feel like you got to know a wingman. You do. I don't know they that I want a random, a random wingman coming. That sounds like psycho app. How can I find psycho stalker? What if it's a, yeah. Because okay. like, who, what kind of guy would go, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, yeah. I go out with other <laughs> dudes and help them get yeah. women. <laughs> Uh, business idea, mobile sauna therapy or cryotherapy that comes to your house. That one is good. Gaming warfare. I don't know if that exists. That's a hundred bucks to you. Business, yeah. a mobile sauna. I like mobile cryotherapy. Yeah. Because the main thing I don't, reason I like cryotherapy. Now, what, there is one way to do cryotherapy. You buy a whole bunch of ice and you put it in a bathtub and you do like <laughs> Kevin Hart and, you know, LeBron and you just sit in it. But... Cryo is special because it gets even colder. Real cryo gets you. You ever done cryo? I have not, but I, I can understand the complications of it that you'd want somebody to come to you and just jump in it, right? Yeah, it's a pain to have to go. To have it installed? Well, they would have some kind of mobile thing in the back of the truck. You just walk out in your <laughs> boxers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the only problem. Yeah. Hey, would you mind coming to your front yard? Your neighbors would think you're a great person. They would be like, <laughs> call the cops. <laughs> you got psycho well, man. Grab a cup of coffee and let's watch our morning show. Mobile app where you can track your kids. We already did that one. Mobile acupuncture. That yeah. one's good. The problem is there ain't that many acupuncture people. You know, though, my, my son, we were just at the chiropractor, and he does the dry needling acupuncture for um, his knees and some of his muscles. And, and uh, we, we, I mean, he's been going twice a week, every week. It'd be nice if... It would be cool, cool if somebody would like to come to our house because we'd drive like 35 miles just to get to him. And by the way, yep. the last time I was there... Uh, we, your name came up while my son's on the table with needles in his knee. Okay. And the chiropractor goes, uh, Ty? And I said, you know Ty Lopez? He's like, yeah, I follow Ty Lopez. <laughs> it's the local chiropractor. Tell him, do I get a free uh, acupuncture session? And by the way, local chiropractor, this yep. is no kidding, he has a, uh, a program for runners, because that's what he specializes in helping okay. runners, like a sports chiropractor. And my son's a runner, which is why he's there. And he's launching an e-commerce program okay. to sell... A program to get athletes um, nutritional products, okay, and yep. specifically targeting coaches and parents, um, as well as uh, he gives them like recommended. He has them take a lab test at a, like a local like Quest, yep, you know, medical place, and then he prescribes them uh, like a nutritional system. Okay, but again, so many, yeah, you can again, walk a local into chiropractor yes. launching an e-commerce <laughs> program in business. So yes. doctors, yep. Um, you know, who you know? Think about it. they're they're bound to yeah agents and yes an SMA as a social media agency. You want to drive traffic to those doctors, but those doctors also many of them have programs in them yeah. that they could launch online. That's a good idea. I think you came up with a genius idea. Here's what do you I do: a hundred bucks. I'm you get hundred bucks. <laughs> hundred bucks to Joe. Hundred bucks to Joe. Okay. Um, here's what you do with your ecom agency. This is different than SMA. You go to a doctor's office and you say, "I'll help you set up your own supplement system." Because these doctors can white label the supplements oh, yeah. that they like. Yeah. I'll build the website for you because doctors make a killing yeah. selling supplements. And guess what he does? When he when we finished our first appointment, he said, "Out of my shelf up there, grab a bottle of magnesium. You need to get them on magnesium." Yeah, of a and, doctor. And you guess what a doctor. we did? Yeah. Guess what we did? We yep. bought the damn magnesium. And it's over the counter stuff, yeah. so it's not illegal. You're not right. doing right. But that's a good. He's restricted to. He's only selling it in those shelves in his local chiropractor. Yep. Uh, location. He's not selling any of that online. Cheryl Lim, welcome to the group. Jeremy Coleman, welcome to the group. Richard Wilson in Gainesville, Georgia. Jera wow. Gerardo Roca in Union City, California. Joe yeah. Johnson in Pontiac, Michigan. Levine, uh, Jesus Lozano in Levine, Arizona. Margaret Otiata. Oh, no, that's the 67 step, sorry. Jake Chester in Flower Beach, Georgia. Dawkin Urkeg in Burbank. Wow. Uh, Preston, no, that's a different. Andre Lujan in Garden Grove. So far, the, oh, we got someone in Canada. Mo Ramadan, Rexburg, Idaho. Oh, here's someone in Czech Republic. Hey, listen to me. All you people outside of the U.S., you know how to make money? 
If you live in, people go, oh, Ty, I live in India. How do I make money? I got a testimonial. I post on my social media this week. Somebody took the social media marketing program yeah. that we did in 2016. They're in India, and they got they got their first check for four thousand U.S. dollars. Wow, a month. That's yeah. the. Yeah. You know how much four thousand a month a is in India? Oh yeah. I went to India. You could buy anything in India when I was there for like five bucks. What's wrong? Oh, you guys are making a crazy face over there. Yeah, about that. <laughs> so all you people.